What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. So basically we have to deal with these uprisings in British Scandinavia, and I think my next war, I'm not really sure who it's going to be on, we are going to be vassalizing um, Leon here in the 1st of October, and basically my next war is probably going to be on Utrecht. Uh, they are allied with Lubeck, so I can basically remove them in one big swoop. My issue, though, is in December of 1726, um, I really don't know <laughs> if they're going to be joining in on the coalition. I'm hoping not. Let's send over our newly hired mercenaries. They actually do pack quite a punch, which is very useful. No debate in Parliament. I would like another merchant, absolutely. Uh, but gaining a free stability would be way too hard to pass up. Let's spend some... Eh, that's expensive. <laughs> Uh, granting Navy Commissions would absolutely be what I would like to do. Navy Commission. Losing a little bit of prestige, but I need the prestige. Local Autonomy. See, uh, this percentage isn't even worth it. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, 33 to 43% isn't all that bad. Here are our new mercenaries. We are going to send them against 33,000 troops. I really do feel like we're going to win. These units will make their way over. And it looks like we have won one battle. They are Swedish separatists. So now all of the uh, rebels have been removed. You will go here, you will go there. I have no idea how quickly this fort is going to fall. If they have less than 12, now opposes the reform. We must do what we can. Can we split you in half? Probably not. Ah, yes we can. You'll go to Stockholm. Our truce with a lot of countries has ended. People joining into the coalition, which I suppose is fine. And Barcelona now uh, does not follow a reform. This is going fairly quickly. Taking a look at our new colonies. Uh, let us recall you, recall you, send somebody here, and then send somebody here. All we're trying to do is improve the size of Newfoundland. Tunis entering into a coalition against me. I really don't know what we're going to do. But my number one priority is removing this threat. Yikes. Rebels are close to enforcing their demands. Independence for Norway. Well, that's not going to happen. Two of a kind. Gaining a another commandant for 50% cheaper. But we already have a Commandant. He's probably a lot younger, or a lot older, though. 43 versus somebody who is 39. I don't know if that was worth it, but we have somebody younger now who probably won't die as quickly by four years. <laughs> I don't know if that was worth it. Probably would have rather have had 50 military power. You go here. You go there. You need to be split in half. You go here. You go there. Liberstace Excelsior. Um, losing loyalty, but gaining a lot of money. Clergy would also lose influence. I think we are absolutely going to take this. And can we improve relations with our allies? We have Persia here. Um, we are going to improve relations. But we are definitely going to be declaring on the Ottomans. Uh, or better yet, declaring on Austria itself. If we could go for Utrecht, we will. And it looks like we might be able to. Uh, breaking a truce. They'll probably join the coalition against me. Well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You come down. You come down. You come down. You go here. And these rebels should be stomped out any minute now.
Some rebels, I hope we can take them out. Let's give you the most powerful general we can find. A 3-6, absolutely broken. We are experiencing more rebels uh, all the way up here. Let's give you that general though. Local unrest or lower taxes. Let's lower taxes. Taking a glance, we can finally begin our annexation of Leon. And now we are going to be declaring on Utrecht. They are allied to Lubeck. Can I declare war on Verdun? Yes, I can. What about Pomerania? No, I can't. Uh, Brunswick, I probably could, but you're allied to Bavaria. Let's bring our mercenaries down. 26 here. I'm assuming this is the right blend. Yes, it is. I wish my mercenaries would be like blue or black, so I don't get them confused. Okay, so my number one priority is declaring on, I guess, Lubeck. Well, no, they're in the coalition. If I declare on Utrecht, uh, I can swallow up all of Lubeck, I believe. They aren't too powerful at all. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. Let's bring in some troops. Our mercenaries are where they need to be. And finally, we are going to be declaring on Verdun. Brunswick, we could declare on you. Um, I think we are going to have to do that. Declaring on Brunswick, bringing in Bavaria. That way we can clear on Verdun. So we're going to be declaring on three provinces very quickly. All of our mercenaries are where they need to be. Decl Yikes. Why? T are they in a coalition? No. But I, I just don't get it. They are allied with Lubeck. They will call upon the coalition members. That is why. Can we declare on Bavaria? Nope. Could I defeat the coalition? Tunis, yes. Poland, maybe. Austria, no. I mean, I, I could. It's just not worth it. And that definitely does not seem worth it. <laughs> Austria has negative 286 uh, aggressive expansion. Can I declare on Sweden? That would bring in Lithuania. I don't know if I want to do that either. Declaring on Russia could be a good option. I would rather re release territory than take it, though. So, you know, releasing, like, well, they don't even exist anymore. I was going to release, uh, like, Livonia. But let's see exactly what's going to happen. Our mercenaries are making their way up and over. Do we have our actual ships? 26,000 can move on up to Abo. I could declare on the Ottomans. I forgot about that. I don't know why I don't. That would be a much better plan. But I'm still going to have the same plan as before. British Columbia, better leave them be. I'm going to be releasing territories and vassalizing them. So let's gain a don't want a stability cost advisor. So instead, I am going to recruit a minister, ask for contributions, demand diplomatic support, seek support of the clergy, uh, send an emissary to the pope, demand administrative support. So here we stand. We have a lot of new, um, you know, bonuses, and we are focusing on getting administrative power. I want my heir to die. I probably should have just gone ahead and created a, uh, you know, him as a general. Instead, we lost 50 prestige. That was not a good move. I don't know why I did that very quickly. Uh, and now, where do we stand? I want to declare war. I have the manpower. I have the money. But I don't know if I want to declare on Austria. Everybody would join in if I declared on Austria. 
Don't know if we would win this either. Taking a look at the Ottomans, releasing some territory could be my best bet, such as releasing Greece, uh, you know, gaining some new territory. Also, removing Tunisia from the game could be an option. I think you are going to move over. We have some rebels that need to be dealt with still here in the south. Luckily, we do have some mercenaries. Let's uh, dis mm, see. Now we're preparing for war against Russia. You are going to come down here. These mercenaries will be destroyed. Because they are costing me a lot of money. And now we need more troops. So you will come down. You will come down. You will come down. Tunisia is going to get swallowed up. Especially now that they don't have their capital. And taking a quick glance... Um, Let's improve the autonomy in some of these regions. They are going to be upset no matter what happens. These guys are going to be upset no matter what happens. Let's produce more mercenaries in this area. So that way, no matter what happens, we can always defend it. Do I, I have four colonies. I might want six because I'm making so much money. Let's recall you, recall you and continue to send people on their journey. Though I don't know where. Maybe starting to work down in the south could be a viable option. States and territories, or better yet, colonial regions. Starting to work on colonial La Plata seems like a viable option. And it says we have no colonists to send, and we can send somebody all the way down here. But do we want to? Probably. Yes, we do, actually. We could send somebody to California, and I think we will. Looks like we have Sweden here. We are going to have to beat down Sweden sometime. And it looks like Ming has even expanded as well. Let's uh, continue on. Starting to gain a new colony would be very useful. Send somebody here. Send somebody to South George. And what's nice, if we look at our colonies, they are actually continuing to expand on their own. I just don't know where. <laughs> uh, looking for somebody chopping down a log. I promise you it's it's happening somewhere. I just don't know where. Here it is. In Saluda. Looking at Canada. They are continuing to work on this island here by the coast. We are working on the Hudson Bay. And finally, we definitely need to improve our prestige. Our troops are making their way down. We are going to be declaring on the Ottomans, but also removing the Tunisians altogether if we can. Basically, last time we took about 50 development. I don't know how much territory we're going to be able to take, but we're going to try our best. Here inside Wolof, they have to go. Better yet, let's give them uh, Warwick. We might be able to fight them off. <laughs> That's so broken. We have a new emperor. Uh, even worse than our last. Tunisian separatists. And Anne Boney. We can get a new advisor. Or gain a new admiral. I think we'll take an admiral. Even though we don't really need one. And you know what? We might want to produce ships. Do we even have a fleet? I don't know. I, some of them got destroyed. 28 ships is all we have. Let's produce about 40, or maybe even 50. Ah, uh, ships x50. And then as soon as these are ready, we're, we will obviously declare our war. Have you all meet here. 
And it looks like we have a new heir who is very, very good. I don't like our current king, so he needs to die. So what we need to do is make him into a general. Is he any good? 3-3, three, three, not bad, but could be a lot better. With our current ships, we are going to have to uh, use them as such. Sierra Leone. So I guess what I'm saying is we have our troops here. And I th but we're, we're still producing our ships. We're going to probably declare war in just a moment. Brunswick entering into a coalition. My What I don't want to have happen is have the Ottomans join in on this coalition because we would absolutely get annihilated. So I'm probably going to focus on releasing territory like Greece. Albania, do you want to be a vassal? Ooh. Let's uh, do this. Improve relations. I mean, we got time to spare. We're, we're wasting so much money on colonies. Uh, how much are we wasting? 72 ducats a month. Let's offer you an alliance. We don't even have a diplomat. Let's fix that. First thing we're probably going to do is offer you an alliance. That way we can get pretty much a free royal marriage. Here it comes. If we could vassalize you, that would be a very nice staging point for our military. We'll probably cede a bunch of territory to Albania. But you know what? But then again, my issue is uh, I only have you know enough time for one more diplomat, like one more diplomatic relation. Gain a base tax. It's kind of hard to keep talking. When you've been playing for so long. Petition for redress. We have some peasants that have been uprising. Our ships are almost ready to go. We have a lot of upset people, but it's probably because, looking at Calais, we are controlled by the clergy. That is why they are upset. We have a looming disaster. We have the English Civil War because we have a very low legitimacy. I don't think there's anything we can really do about that. Uh, except we could get yearly legitimacy plus one. It's not going to be all that great, but now it's 1.76 instead of what it was before. Let us also go ahead and utilize the separation of powers. This is going to be a little bit of a waste of money, but uh, I don't necessarily mind all that much. I think what we do want is better offensive ideas, getting very, very powerful generals. Man, our, our king is just so garbage. And the units did die, but... It's not what we really wanted. I think our ships are ready. Okay, as we declare on the Ottomans, all we're going to do is basically release territory. We need to go ahead and vassalize Albania. So let's proclaim a guarantee. We have 154 relations. Uh, sending all of our ships. Split you in half. Some will go here. Some will go here. Taking a look at the coalition. Yeah, <laughs> there's... Yikes. We have been declared upon. Was not really ready for that. Um, th we have more troops than they do. This is going to be very bloody, though. So I am going to go ahead and end this episode, and thank you all for joining me. I do think we can win very... Not very easily, but it is going to be bloody nonetheless. Thank you all for joining me, and I will see you in our next adventure.